Now let's move on to something that is a little bit equal in how difficult it is, but less so now that we know how to use this chamfer feature. That's why I introduced it as a, as a third method of creating the side piece. Let's create a new on-shape document. Let's call it our roof. You can call it your top piece. As long as you have your own naming convention and you can understand the differences, I'm fine with however you want to call it in on shape just as long as it's called what it's supposed to be called for the assignment submission. We will start a sketch on the front plane. Now I press the check mark and I did a little oopsie for you to look at and now what do I do? I could, doesn't super matter, I could start another sketch but now I have two sketches over here in our feature pane, in our model pane. I'm going to delete this first one and I can, sorry, delete the second one and then double click on the first sketch, click on the front of the view cube, and the overall geometry of our roof or top piece is again a rectangle. So let's make a rectangle from our origin. Oh, oh no, now I don't have any dimension text boxes. That's okay. Let's dimension our bottom line to be five and a half inches. Let's dimension any side east or west to be seven inches. Now I want to show you something kind of fun um, that you can even do any kind of unit conversion that you want. So if you wanted to do um, seven centimeters, all you had to do was type in centimeters instead. Yeah. But we don't want it to be seven centimeters, we want it to be seven inches. Now we can finish our sketch we can extrude our sketch, our rectangle, three-fourths of an inch. We'll finish that off, and then we will do a chamfer, just like we talked about in the drawing. We want to change this drop-down from equal distance to distance and angle, just like we did for our side piece, change the angle to 30 degrees. Now the depth at which we extruded was three-fourths of an inch. So we'll put that in there. It will visualize for us. Once we hit the green check mark, our chamfer is complete. Then we can export our roof. Okay, and then this will once again download into our downloads folder, and that completes our roof piece.